My name is Benjamin Clough, and I'm currently in the Electrical, Computer, and Systems Engineering Department. And I'm originally from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm an electrical engineering by training, um, but I'm working in a primarily physics-oriented group. So I bring a lot to the table in terms of electronics, um, but also I'm able to learn a lot of different uh, diverse things in terms of uh, the physics behind what's going on. My project involves encoding terahertz electromagnetic radiation into a laser-induced plasma acoustic wave. So a T-ray, or a terahertz wave, is essentially uh, electromagnetic radiation, and that can be found on the electromagnetic spectrum between the visible light and the microwaves. Why terahertz? Actually, when I was first looking at coming here to RPI, uh, I knew about Professor Zhang's group, and uh, the work that he was doing sounded just extremely exciting, you know, being able to basically see materials or do imaging through uh, completely opaque barriers. It just sounded really fascinating. The problem with uh, terahertz is that it's highly absorbed in atmosphere. So if you try and have some sort of propagation of terahertz over even, say, larger than a meter, you, you lose basically all of your energy. Um, so by encoding this information into an acoustic wave, we're able to transport it over much larger distances. Terahertz technology has uh, some, some excellent benefits. Uh, one of those being uh, being able to spectrally identify different materials, including explosive materials. And so uh, we would like to be able to separate the operator from these hazardous materials under study in the battlefields, for instance, uh, for a roadside bomb or some package that needs to be uh, investigated, some suspicious package. We can send out our laser beam there and try and actually get spectral information or a signature to try and identify what sort of chemical or hazard materials is uh, inside of this box. This method of, of acoustics, you, you really, when you think of ultra-fast optics and you think of terahertz that's happening on a picosecond time scale, you don't really think of acoustic waves, so I think right there it's just sort of an attention getter and pretty exciting thing that's going on. It's, it's new every day, I mean, you're not doing the same job every day. Every day there's new challenges and uh, sometimes it can be frustrating, but uh, when you get it right, it can be really rewarding. Uh, my future, uh, it's kind of hard to say, but uh, I hopefully would like to graduate from here at some point, and uh, I'm looking at actually moving back possibly to Albuquerque and, and maybe working for uh, national labs there.